Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to the truck for a little truck talks. I want to bring you a quick video message this morning. Ran across a verse the other day where um, a lot of people could misapply and misuse this verse, and it all it all also it all depends on uh, the translation that you're using. I'm using the King James version, and this verse is Acts chapter three, verse nineteen. It says in the King James it says, "Repent ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing." shall come from the presence of the Lord. Uh, the, NLT, the NLT version says something to the fact of repent of your sins and turn to God. Or some, that's a paraphrase, but I know it says repent of your sins. And that's not what this, in this context, that's not what this is about. Peter had just healed the lame, the lame person. And John was with them as well. And the men of Israel was, was uh, in amazement. And Peter goes on to tell them, hey, you know, the God, of, I'll just read it, uh, start in chapter 12, or I'm sorry, verse 12, it says, And when Peter saw it, he answered unto the people, Ye men of Israel, why marvel at this, ye at this? Or why look ye so earnestly, earnestly on us, as though by your own power, our own power or holiness we made this man to walk? The God of Abraham and of Isaac and of Jacob, the God of our fathers, hath glorified his son Jesus, whom ye delivered up and denied him in the presence of Pilate when he was determined to let him go. But ye denied the Holy One and the just and desired a murderer to be granted unto you and killed the Prince of Life, whom God hath raised from the dead, whereof we are witnesses. And his name through faith and his name hath made this man strong. Whom ye see and know, ye the faith which is by him hath given him this perfect soundness in the presence of you all. And now, brethren, I wot that through ignorance ye, ye did it, as did also your rulers. But those things which God before has showed by the mouth of all his prophets, that Christ should suffer and hath so fulfilled. 19. Repent ye therefore, and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come in the presence of the Lord. So as you can see, in its proper context, repent is means to change your mind. It's the Greek word for repent is metanoia, which is a change of mind. That's what that's what Peter is Peter's saying. Guys, you crucified the Holy One. Change your mind. Be converted so that your sins can be blotted out. Big difference there. So I see a lot of uh, posts on social media, little memes that comes up about this verse. And people say, well, look here, so you got to repent of your, your sins. No, that's not what it's saying in its context. What it's saying is believe. Believe on Jesus Christ alone for your salvation. That's what Peter's telling, telling his uh his so-called brothers, he, he says, brother, probably brothers of the flesh of uh, Israel. And he's telling them to be converted. Repent. Change your mind. Go from unbelief to belief. That's the proper rendering. That's the proper context of that verse. And yeah, yes, versions, versions do matter. And the King James, you know, came basically came from the majority text from Antioch and the rest of the, the modern translations basically come from Egypt. They come from two, two different sources. Antioch or Egypt? Pick one. I, I'm going to select Antioch. And uh, got some instruction up here. So that's something to consider when you when you are looking at Bible versions or looking at scripture or you see something on social media is to go back and see how that scripture laid out in other translations. I was, I was really surprised when I, when I saw that saw that scripture and when I go to my King James says, yeah, that makes sense. You know, in its context, you know, Peter's telling them, hey, change your mind, be converted so that your sins may be blotted out. It's not saying it has anything to do about your individual sins. Big difference there. So, I hope this made sense to somebody and please comment in the comment section 
if you uh, have any more input on that verse and um, talk, talk about Bible translation, how important it is, I think it's very important. You know, I've heard one person say, um, well, nobody has the originals, you know, so it really doesn't matter. I think it greatly matters. And I think the King James, if you understand where it's derived from, I think it's a big difference. I think there's a big difference because I see over the years, and I've done a video about this already, why I switched back to the King James Version. Um, I'm not going to get into this video, but I, I saw a big difference either with uh, my growth, my spiritual growth or understanding of the Lord and understanding of salvation and, and our walk with God versus the modern translations. When I was in the modern translation, I had more of a uh, legalistic legalistic mindset. You know, I was backloading the gospel. Well, if you if you are truly saved, you will be doing X, Y, and Z. No, that's not that's not it. That it's a backloaded false gospel. And should we walk in holiness? Should we do you know, yield to the Holy Spirit? Absolutely. Why? Because we are ambassadors for Christ. We're trying to advance the kingdom of heaven. How else? What else are we supposed to do? You know? And when you are operating out of grace, gratitude comes. Gratitude is the fruit of grace. Okay? So learn to rest in Christ. If you're hearing this video message right now, you might be caught in legalism. If you... How you know that you are in legalism? You're at least you have a legalistic mindset. If you're catching yourself saying this phrase, well, if you're truly saved, if you're truly converted, you will be doing X, Y, and Z, or whatever. That's not the case, folks. We have to get people saved by the power of the gospel, and we preach Christ crucified on the cross. His death, burial, and His resurrection. Okay. Because that's how, that's the only way the Holy Ghost is going to come to somebody. The Holy Spirit is going to dwell somebody when they believed on Jesus Christ alone for their salvation. So, I hope you found this video uh, somewhat helpful. I hope everyone have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.